Hello, everybody. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to address all of you uh, this week uh, again. And uh, last week, I spoke about egocentrism and selfishness. As a result of that message, many people wrote me and said that I should speak more about topics like this, uh, talking about character development. So uh, I'm not going to continue on uh, selfishness and egocentrism, but I'm going to continue on a similar topic, which is a good thing that people want to develop themselves. They want to uh, work on themselves. So I want to talk today about integrity. Now, integrity is a word that we all hear all the time. We hear about integrity, but we don't really always know what it means. Uh, if we know it's like it's trying to be good or behaving right, but I would like this week for us to examine the word integrity and go through it much more detail in a much more detailed form uh, all this week. So I want to encourage you to be with us all this week, and I want to talk about the the, the act of integrity. Uh, integrity is when your way of life is not in conflict with what you are inside yourself. So your internal person, your inner man, who you are and how you know, what you know of yourself should not be in conflict with how you portray yourself, how you actually behave. So it's being authentic. So uh, integrity is the act of uh, authenticity. You, you know, being authentic is when your lifestyle is exactly the same thing that you are inside. When you portray the same thing, the unity of the internal being and the, the, the behavior, that is what authenticity and um, integrity is all about. So don't be a double-faced person uh, or live a double life. Je not let your life line up with who you are inside. You know, just be real. It's, it's a pretty simple word, but there are more to integrity and authenticity than being real. And this whole week, we're going to go through it and try to help, try to give you uh, tips on how you could be a better person through integrity and authenticity. God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Today is Tuesday, and I wish to continue uh, the message we're addressing this week on the act of integrity. Uh, that's such a practical and needed virtue today, especially for the believers. So many people are cunning and deceptive. So much deception and lies all around us that is 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 a, is a treasure. It's it's like gold, it's like diamond to have someone who is truthful and honest. So what does it mean to be to to have integrity? To have in, one aspect of integrity that I want to talk about today is. Uh, being straightforward to have integrity to be a man of integrity is to always be straightforward in everything you do don't go don't go through the uh, the, the game of uh, you know you know deceiving people and trying to take go um, another way when you really want to go to the left you go to the right when you want to say this you say another thing express yourself and express the things you have on your heart uh, in your heart directly as it is tell people what you want to tell them don't play games and try to you know you know uh, manipulate people or try to tell things to people indirectly or learn to be straight and integrity a, a person of integrity will be straight in all his talks and in all his dissection the uh, discussions and in all his expressions if you have integrity you will not be going indirectly to, to talk to people you will tell them what you need to tell them straightforward if you if you if you if you are a person of integrity you'll be direct in your in your conversation and you'll be direct to express what is on your heart if you are a person of integrity you will also be concrete there are a lot of people that are not concrete they you cannot pin them down on anything <laughs> they saying everything and you cannot really get to know what they're talking about they are not concrete and and you know, the if you are not concrete, it's a lack of integrity. It's a sign of character uh, default, character uh, issues. It means you having issues with integrity. If you are not direct in your dealings, it's a problem of integrity, my friend. And if you are not straightforward, forget it. Learn not to. Some people cover it up 
in you know saying that trying to be diplomatic some kind of diplomacy uh, is actually deception it's lack of integrity let's learn to speak our mind the way things are and we'll be a better person and the world will appreciate us more we'll talk more about this tomorrow god bless you hello everybody we're talking to get to today again about integrity now you see most people that uh lack integrity or don't really understand what integrity means always refer and tell other people not to mind their actions but they don't really say don't mind my actions but they say well but i have god knows my motive my motive is my heart is clear uh, i have a good heart i have a good motive god knows my motive so so i don't care what everybody, anybody else thinks well you you're right god sees your heart and God judges by motives or by, by your heart. But men don't see your motives. I can see your motives. And other people you have dealings with don't see your motives. You know what they see? They see your actions. The only reason why people have to say, well, I had a different motive and God sees my heart, is only because their actions that they portray is not in unison. It's not in collaboration with what they're thinking to do in their heart or in their motives. So if your action is different from your motives, then you are not a person of integrity. Your actions should line up with your original thoughts, with your motives in your heart. So there should not be any major difference in between your motives, what you meant to say, and what you're actually doing. Because what you meant to say is what is known to you and to God. But what is known to people and what people judge you by is what you actually do. People judge you by your actions. So, now if you want to be a person of integrity, always work on yourself and make sure that the actions that you portray is a direct reflection of the feelings and of the motives you have in your heart. That there is no difference whatsoever between what you are thinking of doing and what you are actually doing. So God judges your motives, but men judge your actions. So make sure your actions are in direct collaboration. Be so direct to do exactly what you are thinking in your heart. That way, you'll be more and better understood by men, and you will be in peace with yourself and with people around you. God bless you. We'll talk more about integrity tomorrow. Hello everybody, we continue the topic we started this week on integrity. A person of integrity is a person that constantly, a person that understands that he needs to constantly work on himself. A person of integrity is being pushed by the internal integrity that he has to analyze and constantly evaluate himself. His integrity, the truthfulness in him cannot afford him to live in comfort of self-satisfaction. A person of integrity constantly examines himself. So to be a person of integrity is to constantly examine yourself and to see what you could improve about yourself. A person of integrity sees the need for him to constantly grow in his character, in his behavior, to constantly work on his heart. So if you are a person of integrity, you see the need to improve yourself and you see the need to uh, improve your character and when you anybody comes to talk to you or to um, to correct you or to even rebuke you about one thing or the other a man of integrity is not furious and is not angry at the person that rebukes him or that corrects him about anything because he sees the need for himself to be corrected and improved so it goes out with gratitude to the person that works on him and that tries to improve him. So if we want to be people of integrity, we must desire and love corrections. And we must be this, not just desire to, to be corrected, but we must be busy working on ourselves, seeing the need to improve ourselves, improving our character, improving our hearts, improving our actions and our relationship with other people. So if to be a person of integrity, you need to constantly work on yourself. You see the need and the areas where you need to improve yourself. 
So we'll talk to you more about tomorrow. God bless you. Hello everybody. Well, today is Friday and we continue to talk about integrity. Well, I want to, the aspect of integrity I want to talk about today is the fact that a person of integrity is a lover of truth. It's a lover of truth. If we are people of integrity, we are going to love the truth. And uh, loving truth is not like loving truth and trying to look for truth about other people or, you know, try to, uh, you know, investigate what's going on in other people's lives. That's not your problem because the Bible says, do not judge so that you will not be judged. Uh, loving the truth is loving the truth about yourself. It's loving truth enough to be able to desire to hear the truth about who you really are. A person that is a lover of the truth will be open to corrections. If you are a person of truth, you will tell your friends to speak their minds to you and to point things out in your, char in your char character that are not really in line with what you thought you are. They, because, because it's easier for people for friends and people who are uh, around you to see who you really are than for you to see yourself and normally we think we are the, like this and people re really receive us differently so if you are a lover of the truth and a person of integrity you would like to hear other people's opinion about you and you would like for them to speak their mind about you you will not be mad you will not be mad you will not be angry at them that they tell you the truth of what they think but you rather desire to hear what they think uh, so that you could improve yourself. Um, uh, a, a person of integrity, because he understands the need to constantly work on himself and to constantly improve himself, he desires the truth, to find out the truth about himself and also to ask his fellow friends and his colleagues to tell him about what they think. He wants to hear the truth from them about himself. And uh, that way, it gives him the opportunity to improve himself and to be a better person. Uh, I'll talk to you more about integrity tomorrow. God bless you. Welcome to Saturday. Well, today we want to continue talking about integrity. And I want to tell you that a person of integrity is a person that doesn't find excuses. <laughs> People that don't have integrity always find excuses for everything, especially for their actions. For the, when they are wrong and when when they've done something wrong they never admit their wrongdoings they never come out and say i was wrong no you never hear that from someone who is uh not a person of integrity because they are not responsible a person that is, that, that lacks integrity also lacks responsibility so they don't face facts they would rather blame everything else and everybody else for their actions and for whatever has gone wrong than to blame themselves or to take responsibility for whatever they have done wrong. So don't let us be people of in, uh, lack of integrity. Let us learn to love the truth so much to say, I would rather admit that I've done something wrong, even if I'm going to be uh, rebuked for that, even if I'm going to be corrected for that. But I would rather face uh, the music for my actions than making other people no, to be blamed for my actions. Because people who lack integrity will not just try to make excuses, they will actually try to point fingers, accusing fingers at other people, that other people are to blame for whatever went wrong uh, in, in, in their lives or around them or as a result of their actions. But let us be people of integrity to the extent that we take responsibility for the things that we are supposed to take responsibility for and we admit our faults that is what really changes a person and makes a person better rather than pointing fingers and trying to make excuses to make excuse is the fastest track to failure people who make excuses in life never really make it they don't go far they fail let us be people of integrity that don't make excuses meet you tomorrow god bless Hello everybody. Well, today is Sunday. Welcome. And I want to continue talking about integrity. Today is the last day that we talk about this topic. And uh, integrity, one aspect of integrity that people don't really like is that is to know that a person of integrity does not fight criticism. When you are a person of integrity, you don't fight criticism. 
when you are a person of integrity, you look rather for constructive criticism. When you are a person of integrity, actually you take whatever criticism, criticism that comes your way and whatsoever criticism that comes at you as a compliment. Criticism could be, you know, it's, it's a normal thing in life. It, the only people who don't get to be criticized are people that don't really do anything. But if you're doing anything at all in life, expect criticism. Expect to be criticized. If you are doing anything with your life and you are making a wave and an impact, there are, there are always going to be people who don't understand you, who will not understand you, and who don't understand why you do what you do, and who will not understand why you do what you do. So you are going to be criticized. And when you are criticized, a person of integrity uses the opportunity to examine himself. He examines himself and he uses it as a, uh, as a springboard, as a chance to also improve himself. So if you're a person of integrity, you don't fight or hate people who criticize you. You appreciate them and you thank God for them and you try to take something relevant for yourself from whatever criticism come your way. So to be a person of integrity, you would just take criticism in the, in the stride that they come as a compliment. It, it's a compliment to you that you are making progress and it's a confirmation that you are doing something meaningful that other people notice. And also it's an opportunity for you to work on yourself and be a better person. So let's all work on ourselves and be a person of integrity. God bless you.